Saturday. Good morning. Happy Saturday, October 31st. I pray everyone out there is doing well, and I appreciate you taking some time to uh, sit back and listen to what the Lord has given me to share today. My devotional today is on prayer. I believe it's very essential uh, to a Christian's everyday life. Uh, I do have a uh, short little acronym that uh, I use when I pray. Since we do this little acronym uh, every t every time, let's, I find out the word talk, which means a lot uh, to you when you pray. Think about this next time you pray. I'm going to break it down. Talk. T-A-L-K. We're going to use that and see where how we can use that to pray. Well, you're going to take the T and T I wrote down, take the time to pray. Think about what you are praying about and uh, just let it flow from you. And as you're praying, just think about what he's giving you. He's giving you so many blessings and uh, opportunities to do stuff for him. And uh, when you do take that time to pray, you're just there between you and him. And uh, you concentrate on that and uh, it'll go a long ways. Let's use the, the letter A. It's a refreshing word. It's ah, find a quiet place. When you find that quiet place, you're there to relax and enjoy the time you're spending with God. And uh, you'll get a lot out of it whenever you're sitting there just relaxing. Just let the world fade away and it's between you and God and you find that relaxing place. Uh, and it, it's not a place where it's crazy. It's just a, a, a alone time with, between you and God and you can uh, find the serenity there and enjoy the time you have with God. Let's do the, the letter L. You can learn from God's word. Praying and reading God's word, they go in hand in hand. If you don't read, uh, that's how he talks to you. So remember, whenever you pray, always read because when you're praying, you're talking to him. And uh, when it, when uh, you're reading, he's talking to you. But listen, closely listen. Remember, you're in that quiet place so you can just sit there and uh, enjoy the quietness. You know, When you get away from everything and you're just listening and you're reading, you're studying, that's a good time to, uh, to learn and grow spiritually. K, the letter K in the word talk is keep a constant prayer, prayer plan, write things down. I, I use a prayer journal, journal here that I've been using since 2011 and I write things in it all the time and when things happen the prayers get requests and answered I mark it down if they don't get answered I just leave them in there but uh, I keep praying but with with that in into in, until this right here comes in handy too you got to read your word read it and keep it now remember that's t-a-l-k talk take time to pray ah find a quiet place between you and God L, learn from God's word, praying and reading God's word. And then uh, K, keep a constant prayer plan, write things down. Because if you if someone tells you, I'm going to pray, you know, pray for me, and you say, oh, kind of problem, and you do it and you forget about it, what's the use of somebody telling you? Remember, prayer, write things down. Always remember, when you pray, give our Lord praise. Man, praise him. He's done so much for us, so many blessings. So many blessings that I can count right now that happened this week for myself, for my family. But uh, you got to pray and give God the praise. Not, it's not just always a give me, give me prayer. It's a, you can pray and praise the Lord in everything you do. Second, confess your sins. Keep your sins confessed every day. Keep it current. Because if you say you're going to wait to the end of the week, oh, you forget. We're forgetful. We got so much stuff going on. Keep your your sins confessed. God doesn't like sins between you and him. So remember, keep those sins confessed. Number three, keep, uh, you can read some of God's word. When, you, when you're praying, you can read the scripture. You can sing a song. I'm going to read here in, uh, in uh, 1 John 5, 15. It says, if we, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that he will that we have what he asked of. And in James 5.13, it says, If anyone among you is in trouble, let him pray. Is, it, if, is anyone happy, let him sing songs of praise. So whenever you pray, it, you don't have to just do a prayer. You can sing a song, sing a praise. You can give him thanks. You can do that. It's not just a gimme, gimme prayer. Remember that. You're just talking to the Lord. It's like you're talking to a friend. That's what a prayer is. You're talking to him. Uh, number four, know that if you ask or petition to the Lord for your issues. You could do that. In 1 Corinthians 16, 11 says, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Know that as a Christian, you can come to God every single day, every single hour you can come to him. <clears throat> and he's always there. He's going to listen to you. Number five, and this is the last one. 
uh, don't forget to give thanks for the blessings and the grace that he gives us. <clears throat> he gives us so much grace. We can be, man, we, we do a lot of things that we ask forgiveness and he forgives us. You know, we, we're, we're always doing things we're not supposed to, but thanks to the grace of God, he forgives us. But we get to ask for forgiveness and we also got to thank our blessings because there's so many things he's given us, talents, uh, a good job, a good home, a good family, good church, he gives us so much. And sometimes we're not even thankful. Be thankful for what he's given us. Not just be thankful for the food he gives you when we go to eat dinner, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but everything he gives us. We're, we got up this morning. We're breathing another breath. Hey, be thankful for that. Thank him in the good and in the bad. Always be thankful. That was short and quick, but I pray that this helped you out. Remember, I encourage everyone to keep praying. Pray, pray, pray. I believe that if you pray, the more you pray, the, the more you become a, a prayer warrior. And when somebody asks you to pray, I, I believe that they'll believe that, hey, they have confidence that you will pray for them. And I encourage you, again, keep your prayer life constant and always, always uh, confess your sins and be be ready to hear that call. When someone asks for some prayer, you be right there first in line to stand up and say, I'll pray for you and then do it. But remember, with prayer comes reading. Seek the Lord in everything you do, and uh, he'll bless you. And uh, you always want to be in in, uh, in fellowship with the Lord to do that. So be that testimony out there to, to be that prayer warrior. And I encourage everybody, pray, pray, pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord. Thank you for this day, Lord. Thanks for the time that you've given us, Lord. We thank you for the men that are doing this. Lord, we ask that somebody gets a blessing out of this, Lord, and we ask you to just continue to be with us, Lord, and, and just let us take our time whenever we come seek your will, Lord, and seek your face, Lord, and let us do this boldly, Lord, and let us be able to do it every day. Give us a couple minutes, and we'll want more, Lord. Be with our church, be with our pastor and his wife, Lord, and everybody, Lord, that's uh, on a prayer list. And Lord, and we thank you for the men that do that are doing this, Lord. Just continue to be with us, Lord. We love you. Jesus, and we pray, amen. Continue to to watch us on, on this uh, this channel here. The men will start back up on Monday, and we'll, we'll see, I'll see you again on Saturday. Thanks again. Have a good day. Love you.